Okay, guys. Welcome back. Uh, again, this is your host, Santos Capitan Jr. Let's do part 13. Okay. Now, guys, just let me explain what I have done. Okay. Now, actually, uh, here, I already uh, changed the set point for our uh, sequencing. Okay. So, I have here a uh, runtime sequence set point. Then, I have also runtime set point. Now, actually, I already explained this in my previous tutorial. But just to give you an idea... Okay, now I have provided here a spinner. Okay, so if I will, I can increase the EF exhaust fan set point. Now I'm using the same set point for both of the fans. Okay, so I can increase it by 10. Okay, then I can also decrease it by 10. Okay, now uh, I have done this because I want to simulate the changing of the fans. Okay, but as I said, we are doing only the uh, run time or run hours program. So in run hours, in run hours program, script program, I'll be needing the uh, this status run request, EF1 run request, and EF1, EF1 change over, EF2 run request, then EF2 change over. I'll be needing this point in my uh, main exhaustion program. Now, in my main exhaustion program, this is how I'm going to operate this when the selector switch is in automatic. So, if I will put the selector switch of my control panel in automatic, both fans, then the system or my script program will try to manage all this equipment automatically. That is the beauty of building automation or machine automation. Okay? So when everything is ready, you already written all the script program, uploaded it in your backnet controllers, then you can just sit and relax and see how your script program will operate this equipment automatically. Okay, so that is the beauty of automation, machine automation. Okay, so right now, as you can see here, now I have here the run hours. Okay, so this is the accumulated run hours for maintenance for process. Now, the set point for that one is 500. Now, this one is the sequencing hours, 14.5, okay? Then, uh, the set point is 68. Now, actually, we can set the set, set point for sequencing for 168 hours. That is one week. So, when this fan is running one week, it will stop, then the standby fan will be the one to serve the area. Okay, then if this fan runs 168, then it will stop. Then EF1 will serve the area. That is sequencing or change over. Okay. Now, uh, in my program, what I have done here, if this one is above the set point, then it will be reset back to zero or a, a little value. Then EF1 run request will be off. Then change over will be on. Then EF2 run request will be on. Then EF2 change over will be off. Okay, so that is the uh, how the program works. Okay, so let me show you my script program. Okay, new share script program. Where are you? Okay, so this is my script program. Okay, so that is my script program here. So e checking of sequencing time and resetting of sequence time for EF1. Okay, I put. I have put the uh, uh, remarks so that this is the program, okay? Now, I hope those engineers, new engineers who are having uh, the same backnet controllers or if you have been a controller that can only accept script programming, then this is an example. Once again, guys, this is just an example, okay? I'm not saying this will be the best uh, script program for your backnet controller. Again, I will reiterate, this is for beginners. Okay, This will just give an idea, the beginners, how he's going to do it. Maybe the engineer, the beginner engineer is a good programmer. Then he can always uh, edit this program, tailored it based on your sequence of operation. Actually, once I finish or completed this EF run hours program, I will try to make it more clean and neat okay so i might be doing some uh, line here wherein 
the script will be more uh, readable and clean and neat. Okay. So I hope uh, you know what I'm trying to say here. Okay. So this will be for uh, EF1. Then this will be for EF2. Okay. So if EF1 sequence time greater than sequence set point. So this is the one I'm repairing in my graphics. Okay. Then if it is running, then this is how I'm going to change the status in my graphics. Okay. Then EF. Okay. Then this one. Then this is the resetting of the sequence time. Then sequence time equals this one. Okay. Then, okay, so this one will be the accumulation. Then this will be the routine for EF2. If EF2 is running and the sequence time of EF2 is greater than the set point, again, we are using the same set point for both of the punch. Then this will be the uh, resetting and changing of the status. Okay. So actually, this is a flow, uh, flow type looping okay so it will just keep on looping in this uh, actually i have already 51 lines in my script program so from line one to line 51 it will be our uh, like our interpreter or our compiler will interpret or execute its line okay then until it reaches the line 51 then after that it will go back to line one then again it will repeat the loop, okay? So this one, flow type is looping, okay? So that is uh, the looping of our script program, okay? Now we are in my binding variables. So I have here already, okay, the variables. Then we can see some of the values. So this is uh, sequencing set point is 68. Then our runtime for the maintenance purposes is 500. Again, it's also... Uh, the operator can change it based on the uh, recommendation of the engineer of the project, okay? So let me go back to my server. Okay, server, server, okay, share. Now, okay, no funds are running. Now again, first, let's say here EF1 run request. Okay, so we, have, we will run EF1, okay? Okay, so I run manually my exhaust fan. Okay, now as you can see, because I changed my scan, I already, I think I just divided it by two. So it's now it's a little bit fast. Actually, this is not hours. So maybe this is just seconds. Okay, so more than a second. Okay, so as you can see, it's changing. Now, uh, I want you to focus here. So run request is on. Then, okay, I can adjust, decrease a little more. So it, we will not wait for a long time, okay? So I will make it 48. Okay, so, okay, I can make it 38 so that we will not wait. Okay, so you will see if this in my program, if this is greater than this and it is running, then it will, okay, as you can see now, we have run request, so, you have to run request now. Okay, so I will simulate our my program stop it. Then I will run EF2. Okay, because as you can see here, EF2, EF2 run request is off. Now I'm asking for EF2 to run. Now, as I said, this status I will be using it for my uh, main EF script program. How I'm going to start in automatic mode these two funds okay so let's see if we will be having the same thing here okay maybe i will reduce this to 28 okay so that we will not wait for long time as you can see now it's on okay now uh 26 so it, it will go okay now this one is off now this one is on okay perfectly my program is working fine so i will stop it then i will run this one Okay, so the purpose of this program, let me show you again the program. You share the script, okay? So this uh, portion is the one doing the change over and changing of fund request and 
uh, resetting the sequencing time. Resetting the sequence time. This is the resetting sequence time. After the end, resetting it to point 0.1. Okay. Then again, I will accumulate. Then again, it will be checked. It will be checked. Because let's say EF, what is running now is EF1. Okay. So actually, it will not go here because this is this condition is not true. So it will from and if it will check this one if it's not work uh, if the conditions are not met then it will go to and if then it will go back there from the top then again it will scan uh, one by one the line instruction and it will be executed by our program or by the compiler okay guys uh, let me go back to my server okay okay so that is the program now the next part i will try to simulate this uh, run time uh, run hours okay if it will exceed 500 it should raise the f run time alarm here then we will try to reset it okay so that will be the part 14 i guess okay so this is part 13 again thank you for watching and i do hope i'm helping the new engineers if they have the same uh, packnet controller in their project. Again, thank you. And before I will end, uh, Santos Capitan Jr. will always say, God bless us all. Let's all be safe. And bye for now.